Let's look at using the legend in Creo Simulation Live to look at the results of this electronics enclosure. Here we first are looking at velocities, but can change this in the legend to look at pressures. You can look at different directional components and choose the units that you wish to work with. All of the result controls are located in the legend to make it easy to navigate different result types and methods. The rendering display gives you many choices. The default is max value. This provides a see-through vision of where the maximum values are. The composite display provides a legend with a target and bandwidth to fine-tune the result velocities that you are interested in. You can interactively drag these values. If you change the display to surface, you are given the result along the default cut plane. This plane can be dragged interactively to reveal the velocity results at different locations. Switching to pressure values, you can use the display called inverse surface, which hides the first surface that your eyes can see and shows the next. This is an excellent display to reveal pressures on surfaces. Probes can be calculated at any time. Here, let's find out the pressure at a point on this surface. You can change the probe to be shown as a graph, and you can see it change as the CF transient, CFD transient solution converges. Creo Simulation Live results provide the user with many ways to evaluate the performance of their design, and the legend is designed to provide all those controls from one location.